The challenges facing a child who's left disabled by a birth injury are oftentimes lifelong, involving constant therapy, treatments, and medications, and in some cases, relying on the help of others day in and day out. If your baby is injured due to any sort of birth trauma, it's important you know your legal rights. Oftentimes, if a newborn baby suffers an injury leading to a condition such as cerebral palsy, it's caused by factors beyond anyone's control. But in some cases, this debilitating condition can be the result of medical negligence. People think that if you're born with a cerebral palsy, it's just one of those things that couldn't be helped. Uh, uh, in reality, it's often related to uh, inappropriate care on a perinatal basis. If a medical mistake has been made, you should not be held responsible for the costly, lengthy treatments your child may require. It's not fair in the case, in the case of ne medical negligence uh, that the parents be required to give all that care, and that is commonly to the exclusion of their other children or of each other. And so one of the things that we look for uh, is compensation in the form of care. So in a birth trauma case, uh, I have a life care plan, and the life care plan for a child, let's say, with cerebral palsy, uh, might be 10 million, give or take. And oftentimes, parents go through emotional turmoil, feeling they are the ones to blame for their child's condition. Sometimes there's an element of guilt involved. The parent may wonder, is that my fault? Is there anything I, is that something I did? Prenatally. Attorneys at Nuremberg Paris offer this advice when it comes to selecting a facility to deliver your baby. Typically, if uh, you know if this is a, if it's a normal pregnancy, a healthy pregnancy, then you know any any hospital that has an obstetrical unit is fine. Uh, if there are complications, then you're better off at a care facility that has a newborn intensive care unit, a NICU. Um, a, uh, if you're high risk, then you're better off seeing a what's called a perinatologist or a maternal fetal specialist rather than a general obstetrician. Reporting for the EXP News Network, I'm Josh Talkington.